so uh, this is the piece that I sort of, a uh, part of it, the, the work that I showed at the New Music Festival. Right. So this is uh, the, the Fractor Rotus Ruminator 5000. Okay. Now if we hold really still, it should quiet down. There we go. But it's, it's tracking our motion, mm -hmm. and it's only when we move. It's not a lot louder than we can here. There's a, a circle here. By your head, so yeah, I can, can see, you that. see it. I can see that. It's it's following it's following you, and that that actually has to do with the transpositions of the, the pitches. So uh, I've been working for many years on this thing, which I've been calling the harmonic matrix theory. Mm -hmm. I've written an academic paper on it now, mm -hmm. and the idea is that I can take any sort of electronic data yeah. and turn it into musical pitches. But I can't turn them into pitches that are on the piano because it would be chromatic scales and things like this. So I've gone back to just intonation and Pythagorean tunings and I created this theory which I'm calling the harmonic matrix theory. Okay, so how long have you been working on this thing? Oh my goodness. You know, I would, uh, I probably first caught the glimpse of the theory in, I don't know, was it 2008? Nine, yeah, so, and then so I... recently. Oh, yeah, pretty recently, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I used to work as sort of a hobbyist of his music, right? And I certainly didn't expect to actually have um, a breakthrough, at least in terms of my own understanding. And to me, that's the great joy, is that I, I learned something that I didn't know before and I don't think other people know either, right? Or they're, you know, they're have limited interest in, you know. I have, I'm developing, I've been typecast as an installation artist. Okay. And people don't think that installation people, I guess, are real musicians. So I want to, <laughs> I don't know, I, 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 well, they, they don't play instruments and they don't, you know, so they, they know electronics and they make weird noises. But, so this time I, I want to sort of get rid of that notion. I, and I'm going to actually perform a, a real musical piece. Okay. In the work that I'm showing the standard machine, it is going to be, um, it's actually very restricted. Okay. In fact, I've restricted it down to triads and okay. the seventh chords, seventh and ninth chords. So um, I could type in a different number and then anything could happen, but I'm actually going, I've restricted it down so that it's just beautiful, beautiful sonorities that, hope, well, I, I hope they're beautiful. And the system that you use on the computer, did you have to write that yourself? Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah Max, I use Max MSP and Jitter for everything. Like, I don't use anything else. I like the idea of not knowing what's, what's going on, or not being certain about how things are. You know what I mean? So, I could, when I was studying music, I, I could easily, I'm quite sure I could have, you know, done all of the traditional things, mm -hmm. and, you know, I can read music. And then create, you know, standard orchestras and standard harmonies and things like that. But I realized that it wasn't interesting to me because I knew I knew what it was about. Okay. Like I understood it. But the thing I don't understand is this this theory that I'm working on now. I I don't quite understand it. I know there's more depth. There's more stuff to pull out of it. And I think other people would be interested in it as well. I think it will change the way people think about music in terms of how they think about harmony. Yeah. Um, and I think because it's such a mathematical system, um, people don't know, but, but you could sing your times tables. Like this is what the harmonic matrix is. It's, you know, if, if you take the right. seven times eight, uh, you know, 56 or, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> but that, that actually has a pitch. That, yeah. that it's an actual pitch and you would, you would write it as 50, 56 or 64. <laughs> Did I get it wrong? Yeah.